shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motoblogs. So YouTube, today I'm hanging out with Steven and it's a windy day out here in Memphis. Current temperature 73 degrees on this February the 11th, 2017. So what's up with you, Steven? Oh, I'm just out here riding, man. Just, guess we get out here and fight with this wind for a little while. Fighting with the wind. You know, Steven, I am celebrating my one year Go Wing purchase anniversary. Oh, okay. My Gold Wing is officially one year old. Oh, okay. And I am coming up on 12,000 miles. And it doesn't even seem like it. Hey, you know what? I think I'm at that one year mark too this month. I'm not exactly sure what day. Well, I am definitely at the one year mark. I look back at my paperwork. I bought it back in February of 2016 after the 2014 that I had. You know so, what? Come to think about it, this is the anniversary month for my gold wing. Okay. And the reason I know because I had to get my tags renewed for this month. <laughs> okay. I guess that's a good good uh, way to look at it. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. One year anniversary out here on the Gold Wing. 12,000 miles. Yep. Are you, are you getting in the wind? Am I getting in the wind? The guy that we just passed. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you know, he was on a cruiser. Yeah, it didn't look like he had a windshield. Oh, well, that's even worse. Yep. And that's the thing about riding in the wind. If you don't have a fairing or a windshield, man, good luck. Yeah. Well, you know, I had to do this last Wednesday, too. Uh, I went out to Milliton. Okay. But I think I had like a tailwind and a headwind the whole entire way. Okay. Yeah. I think the wind is coming out of the uh, southwest. Yeah, that was a, uh, I was looking at it on the weather thing. It was saying it was coming out the south, and it's going to go all the way up to St. Louis, and they're going to connect with a north wind to head back north. Okay. The Windy City. Unofficially, the Windy City. So yeah, one year, 12,000 miles, I have been doing some riding. I think I got the one year and uh, about 16,000 miles. 16,000? 16, yeah. Man, you've been riding. Well, that's right, you did, you did have a couple of uh, Long, long distance runs. Yeah. Uh, back in uh, 2016, so. Yeah. And I don't ride as uh, North Carolina, that uh, Florida trip, that Gulfport trip. Uh-huh. And I tell you what, if it had been nice on Thanksgiving, I was going to ride to Houston. Oh, okay. Uh, that'd be a good ride. Yep. A ride to Houston. So you two, how many miles have you rode on your bike over the last year? Did you ride any? Or did you leave it in the garage on the jack stand? How many miles did you average over the last year? I think it's easy to rack up the miles without even trying. Yeah, because I know I'm, uh, I'm just going to get out here sometime this year, and I'm just going to wake up on a Saturday and say, you know what, I'm going somewhere. Don't yeah. know where I'm going to go. But I'll go Saturday and come back Sunday. Right. 
Well, you know, the warmer weather is just around the corner. Springtime will be here before you know it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, spring comes in what, March? I think so. The end of March, right? Yeah. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, YouTubers. I think springtime is middle or end of March. Yep. Steven, those headlights are very bright. Huh? Your headlights are very bright. The ones I, the my headlights? Yeah, they real bright. Okay. Uh-huh. I hadn't got a chance to see the ones on yours yet. I still hadn't looked at that price. I'm gonna try to remember to do that today. Oh, okay. It feels good, man. I hadn't been on a bike in, I guess, over a week. Maybe a week or so. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Well, you know, I rode to work that one day, you know, and I said I had to get out at least ride to work. Right. Yeah, I haven't even pulled it out of the garage since my last ride. Yeah. When I talked about the half helmet. Cena released a cavalry half helmet. Okay. And Speaking of the Cena Cavalry half helmet and the Bluetooth setup for your uh, your helmets, yeah, you know a lot of people often justify why they do not want a Bluetooth helmet. You know, I've heard excuses from or reasons, not so much excuses, but I hear reasons like, well, I don't want anybody uh, calling me when I'm out. I don't want anybody disturbing my ride. All I want to hear is my pipes or my radio. One of the reasons why I have a Bluetooth helmet is for safety reasons. It's not so much as somebody could call me while I'm riding. Or I don't want to be disturbed because I could turn, I don't have to answer the call. But what people fail to realize is the, the, the Bluetooth helmet can be used for emergency situations. So let's say, for example, you're riding along and somebody go to somebody starts road raging you. They start riding your bumper. They start harassing you while you're out. So you're not gonna stop and pull over. But you can at least, at least make a phone call. You can at least call 911 if you need to. You can call and report their tags if you need to. You know, it's not so much as people calling you while you're on the bike or you don't wanna be bothered because if you don't want to hear any audio, you could just turn it off. So let me ask you, Steven, what do you think of your Bluetooth helmet? And, and I also want to know, do you not ride with it? Whenever you ride, do you ever go out without your Bluetooth helmet? Or I, always, I always have it with me, you know, because uh, like I said, sometimes my daughter might call me, see something, my wife might call me. Okay. And sometimes he got his own built-in radio on it also. Right. So it's not to have my radio on my bike. At least I can still hear some music. Right. So what you're telling me is, every time you ride, you have your Bluetooth headset with you for the most part. Right. Every time I ride, I have it with me. You know, not necessarily I have to be on the, on my uh, phone or nothing like that. But let's say I'm riding, I'm uh, going on a little trip, and I'm running my navigation off my phone. Right. I always have to have, I want my navigation coming through on it. Right. That way I can hear my uh, direction, my turn by turn direction. Right. Yeah, which is also good. Which is also good. And see, that's what I was trying to, that was the point I was trying to make. You, you're not necessarily having it for, yeah, it's not for pleasure, thing. but you can also have it for emergencies. Right. You know? I guess there's a lot of guys out there that said they don't want to be bothered. They don't want anybody calling them. Or they don't want to be on the phone. And I can respect that. I understand that. But in an emergency situation, you don't have to stop and pull over. Right. You know, you don't have to stop and pull over. How about it, Southbound? How about it, Southbound? You got it on, big truck? At any one of them, Roger. At any southbound. Where you headed? Where you headed? Hernando. Oh, okay. You headed to Hernando. Is this radio putting out okay on your end? Yeah. 
Okay, I appreciate the break. Appreciate it. Your boy Chris, out on the gold wing, and I'm standing by. You there, you there, Steven? Oh yeah, I'm here. Yeah, so, you know, it's just good to have some communications, man. You know, because if something happens, you don't have to necessarily stop. You don't have to come to a stop. Right. You know, you may you may be in a situation where you you don't really need to stop. It may be not. It may not be safe to stop. Yeah, you're right. You know, and that's just my take on it. Well, anyway, what do you guys think? Drop me some comments down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. And I'm hanging out with Steven. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you. I'm good. I'm good, man. I, I, be, I, I support so much stuff. If I support anything else, somebody's going to have to support me. Okay. I appreciate it, man. God bless you, brother. All right.